Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I'm going to do another one of those requested videos of what's on my iPhone. I get requests for this all the time, and so I guess I'll do it a couple times a year now. So you saw what was on my iPad, if you've been following. A couple days ago I did this, or a couple weeks ago, depending on when you're watching this, but basically I showed what's on my iPad, and as you can see, here's my iPhone. So on my front screen, you can see I have the typical apps I've had for quite some time, and I actually have the podcast app from Apple. They've updated it, and I've used it for a little while, and it's pretty nice. It, it works really well, and it's been newly updated, so it's not quite as skeuomorphic, or it doesn't really look like it's something real world that it's not, meaning they used to have this little reel-to-reel -reel tape thing. Let me go here, uh, tap on this, turn the volume all the way down. You used to be able to tap on this, and you'd have a reel-to-reel -reel tape, that's gone and we have this nice new interface so maybe that's one of those little hints towards ios 7 it's hard to say but apple does make this app and it's great for podcasts i listen to all these different ones on and off different podcasts and definitely worth checking out it's free so if you don't like it no big deal so one of the apps i really said i liked on the ipad is day one day one is a note app or really more of a journaling app that takes photos, will kind of geolocate you, and tell the weather for the day. So when you go back and look at that, you've got that whole thing there and all that information about that day. It syncs with the iPad app and the Mac app if you have that, and it's just a really nice application. One of the apps I've been using quite a lot, and that's really because I'm a parent and I have a, a newborn baby, is Baby Monitor. Baby Monitor is a $4 app. Now you could use this for other things too, but it's a Baby Monitor and you can, well not rate them, rate them now, but you have the Video Baby Monitor and an alert call. So under Video Baby Monitor, you can make this a child unit or a parent unit and it uses Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So if you're at someone else's house and you only have Bluetooth, you can use that. Now the catch is you need another iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or whatever you have lying around. So in this case, I use my iPad. Sometimes this is my iPad mini, and we can turn this on. So maybe you have an iPad around, and that's the weather app. Let's minimize that here. Uh, maybe you have an iPad around that you use or don't use. We'll make this the parent unit, or rather the child unit. So now it's on. It has video and audio. You can talk back to them. So we'll turn it on here. We'll make this the parent unit. It'll take a second. And you can see it's seeing what the camera on the iPad sees, which is me. So it works pretty well. You can see there's audio. You can change the camera you're using. And it, it works really well. Now it's just looking up at the lighting. And if I close the cover, it does stay awake. And you can talk back to the baby here. You can play music. It's really a cool app, especially if you don't have a baby monitor, but maybe you have an old iPod Touch laying around that has a microphone in it, something like that. It works really well. So that's one of the apps I've been using. I use Audible a lot to listen to audiobooks. It's a free app, but you'll need to buy an audiobook. There's Inside Apple, and I have a few others as well. Uh, the Steve Jobs biography, uh, Mockingjay, Beyond Band of Brothers, a lot of different style books, but it's a really great app. The app's free, but again, you have to have a subscription or you can buy the books, the audiobooks. Here's some obvious ones that uh, you may or may not have. Google Maps, Skype, LinkedIn, and that's the newer apps are over here that I try out. So Google RSS Reader went away. I actually didn't really use it too much, but I do like to watch news or find news here, and I normally use Pulse, but I thought I'd try something else like Feedly, pretty interesting app here. And I haven't signed in, but it's a different way of looking at news. Here's some information from The Verge, and you can flip through it this way, open an article. It works really well, really fast, and it's free, so definitely check that out. Scribblenauts is a great game. I've had it for some time, but I haven't played it really. My kids play it, and I thought maybe I'd try it out, see what it's like. Flashlight is a tool I use. SoundCloud, I've been listening to a lot of music lately from different uh, indie artists that make music on SoundCloud. Just really been listening to a lot of that. And 
I kind of categorize everything here so you can see some of the games I have. If you haven't tried this yet, Game D Story or Game Developer Story is really a fun game where you're a game developer and it's pretty simple, but there's a lot to it to kind of get the best out of the or the most out of the game and be the best. So really neat. Love Field Runners. I have it on my iPad also. And just some basic things. Grocery IQ. If you get groceries, maybe uh, you're married or your girlfriend or whatever asks you to get groceries. What you can do here is this was a quick thing to get some stuff for tacos. So she, my wife, made me some, made me a list. It says 323, and I went through and grabbed all of these things. I can check them off when they're done. It syncs back to my wife's iPhone, and we know that we bought those things. You can make all sorts of different lists, things like that, depending on where you're going. Different stores around here. So really nice. It syncs. So I pick up the groceries. My wife picks out what we get, and I go pick them up and check them off as we go. Really simple, and there are some coupon features built into that as well. Social-wise, I have twit.tv and twit. I listen to a lot of their podcasts, and I've tried both these apps. Uh, I like them about the same right now. Another podcasting app, Pocket Cast, great app. Google+, Plus, The Verge, Capture. This is to capture directly and upload to YouTube. I used it at CES, actually, when I was there. And there we have Facebook. Finance apps, I have all sorts of different things on here uh, that I don't use too much. Lately, I've been using the airport utility a lot, and I also use Google Authenticator if you use the two-stage login for Google. And that's pretty much it. Really, the things I use the most are on this page. You can see YouTube, uh, the Bible, whether you like it or not, I uh, use it, so it's there. Uh, Flipboard, iTunes, Pulse, Podcasts, Instagram, Day One, Twitter. I use my Apple TV remote an awful lot, and that's pretty much it. So you can see all the different things. So if you have any suggestions, maybe some new apps you found that are really helpful, please place those in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.